What's up guys and the walls 2 plugin is finally here and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that today. Alright and I did a tutorial on the walls 1 plugin and that didn't turn out so well. It wasn't a well developed plugin. But this one actually is and I'll be going step by step with it. So this is updated for their second map, the walls 2. And for this plugin, you can change the time for when the walls drop. You can configure, you can uh, set it to where the players automatically get a prize if they win. And by default, it's one diamond. You can change them if, uh, if you want to allow them to break blocks. And the walls map, it automatically restarts after every game. And... This is very helpful, and this is a really good plugin. All right, first thing you want to do is you want to click download, and you want to click download again. This is the plugin, so let's drag it to our plugins folder. All right, we'll need one more thing to download, and that's the actual map the walls too. Alright, I have a link for the walls too in the description, so just click on that, wait for it to load, and then scroll down a little until you see Minecraft World Save. Click on that, wait for AdFly, and then click Skip Ad. And that's the actual map downloading. Alright, now let's go back to that page and go to the permissions. So click permissions right here. And these are all the permissions. Alright, this is usually for op, the walls too, with an asterisk. And this is for default. I would just give this to your uh, default group or member group, whatever you want. This is for the people to actually play, join, leave, make a team. So this is pretty much the only plug uh sorry permission you have to give. All right, go ahead and double click this. All right, go ahead and drag the normal edition into your server directory. Rename this all lowercase and no spaces the walls 2. Just like that and restart your server. So once you've actually restarted your server Go to your plugins and double click the walls too so we can edit how you want your plugin to run. Alright, so automatically you'll see general and the world. Keep this as it, it is because that should be the name of your world. If you want monsters to be on there, then put true. If you want a prize to be on there, then put item or you could put money for the item. Type in the item ID right there for the money type in the money amount alright game game is for if you want it virtual or not so if it's virtual then it doesn't use redstone and you can actually change when the walls drop so that's 35 minutes but we'll put when the walls drop we'll put it to 15 minutes alright and this will tell you every five minutes when the, the walls are about to drop if you want to change it to 10 minutes when the walls drop, that's fine too. Locations, if you want the lobby to be where you want it, then you'll just, uh, you'll set the coordinates. So X, Y, Z. So let's say it's 300. You'll do semicolon, the Y coordinate, semicolon, the Z coordinate. So like that. Alright, but I'm not going to have a lobby. And you can change the timer settings. Once you're done, save it and restart your server. Alright, after your server is restarted, get on Minecraft. So, you can type the walls, join, and this is for your players to actually join the walls, and it'll add you to the queue line. 
And if you have a lobby, then it'll send you there. If you don't, then I'll just send you. So, you'll need at least two players to start the game. But if you want to automatically start it, then just go ahead and type in the walls start. You need at least two players, and it'll say there must be at least two teams. So, this plugin is very good, and I recommend getting it. And this also works for Multiverse Core, which allows you to have a lot of worlds, multiple worlds. So instead of just having the walls world, you can also have others. And I'll have the video link popping up right here. Alright, thanks for watching this video. And subscribe if this worked.